So recently I decided to move my website to a new place and you're looking at the current home of DarrenAlderman.com. Well, the purple looks nice. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this really nice and responsive website that you can use for a LinkedIn bio page or for your portfolio. And it's only gonna take us a few minutes. Let's get started. Now the platform I'm using to build on is called Card. And Card is a simple platform for you to build one page sites for pretty much anything. Card takes a simple approach, providing you with responsive websites and you can start for free. One of the things I love about Card is that even their paid tier is so freaking affordable. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm on their pro plan, which is $50 a year. And with those $50, I get 25 sites that can all have custom domains. On other website platforms, you're looking at anywhere from 10 to $50 a month for one custom site. So this is insanely affordable and I love it for simple websites like we're building today. Card has a ton of pre-built templates that you can start from. You can search by the type, so you can look for a landing page or a portfolio page. You can demo each of these sites to see what they will look like in real life. And you can see how they're nice and interactive and have some nice design elements. Here's the template I ended up starting with. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and we will start from scratch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate what we're trying to build. So I can put that on the other screen just for content purposes. And then I already have a color palette that I've created inside of coolers. And so I'll drag that over here. So I'll start by clicking on this image and uploading a picture of myself. I'll change the text here to my name and then I'll change this uh, subheading here to be my short little bio, which is Coding enthusiast turned no coder, helping entrepreneurs launch custom apps without code. That's hopefully what this uh, video is doing for you here. And then I decided to have four different buttons. So I had a, I did have Twitter, so I'm gonna leave that, but I don't have Facebook. So I'm gonna switch this over to YouTube. I did a courses, so I'll call this one courses and guides. And then I had one called Glide Templates, which is another um, no-code app building platform that I like to use. And for this, I think I used the, maybe like the upload or share. And But anyways, you pick the icon and then all you have to do is click on one of these buttons and there you can define the URL that you're gonna go to. All right, so now we have the content in place. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. So this is looking pretty good. So now let's go ahead and add in some coloring to make this uh, align with the branding that I have. So I'm gonna change this uh, border color to be the white color that I'm using. And I'm gonna do this for the text elements as well. And then I just changed up the the base color of each one of these buttons. So right here, I'm in the appearance section, I'm changing something for all of the buttons, but then on the individual buttons themselves, I can define a specific color. So I went ahead and did a red color for YouTube, and then for Twitter, I did a blue style color, and then so I did red, blue, and then I ended up doing a pink color, it looks like. But anyways, I'll just go ahead and change all these to be something different. All right, so now we have all those. And I think all these are looking really dang good. So now we just need to do the background and I think we will be good to go. So I'll click on the background and here we can see it is pulling in a linear gradient. And so I'm just gonna change this to be, the, to be using my color palette. So I'll change that to this purple color. I'm gonna fade into a lighter blue. Now we have that in place. I can change the angle so you can see it kind of whooshing around the screen there. I'll do something like that. And then uh, one thing that I love are these little lines, this like dynamic background where the lines are coming at us. And Card makes that really, really easy. And so this is called the background. So I'm in the background section and it's called the pattern. To get movement, these are called animated. Um, let's just say I did uh, animated. 
And then here you can change the thickness and the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to be the dark color that I'm using. But then I am going to fade that out a good bit. So here you can see the lines and it doesn't show the animation until you preview it. Actually, I think you have to publish it. So we'll get to that in a second. The last thing I wanted to show was you can also animate like hover animations. So here, I, I'm, this is growing when I hover over my picture and when I go over a button, it's kind of tilting to the side. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that as well. All right, so on the buttons, I'll go to this play button and this is where I can control animations. And so here, I want something to happen when I hover. So from the drop down, instead of grow, I'll say tilt to the right, and that will tilt the button itself to the right whenever I hover over it. And then I can do the same thing on my image. If I go to the animation tab, I can go down to hover, and then I can say when I hover, go ahead and grow this, and I want it to be intense grow. <laughs> and I can control the duration of that as well, so I can make it hover up really slowly if I would like to. All right, so now we have this uh, sweet landing page and it's already responsive for us. We don't have to worry about any of that. And so now all we need to do is go ahead and publish this. So I'm gonna click on the save button here. This brings me to my publish. So I'll call this Darren a demo, give it a required my demo site. And then you can choose where you want to publish it to. So if you wanna publish it to a custom domain, you can do that here. And then you can also publish it to one of cards domains. And they actually have quite a few here. Um, so if you don't want the, the card branding on there, you can use one of these other ones like jump. And so I'll just call this demo one, two, three, four, five, dot jump. It says this is available and then I can publish that. And now we can view our site. So now we have that rain coming down and we can hover over things and you can tweak all of this to be whatever you like. One thing I'm noticing is when I refresh this, we're getting a brown fade in, and that is uh, is not great. So let's go ahead and tweak that, that last little thing. So I'll click on my background, I'll go to animation, and then down here at the bottom, we have our fade color, and I want this to fade from a color from my branding. So I'll click on done there, go ahead and save and publish my changes. And I'll view this out again. And now whenever we refresh, we're fading in from a blue color. I'm a really big fan of Card, both for its simplicity and its affordability. So definitely check it out if you're in the market for a simple one-page landing page.